playbook on blood type AB covers A to Z everything that you need to know to live healthy. There are charts on overview specific characteristics that makes you you. Weight loss superfoods, weight loss problem foods, portion recommendation, highly beneficial neutral and avoid foods, supplement advice, herbs and phytochemicals, exercise schedule and stress profile, three meal plans, natural alternate remedies for common ailments, 10 day diet challenge. In the description below, there are links to videos that covers more detailed information on all of the topics. Your blood type is rare and biologically complex because you have multiple antigens, sometimes A-like, sometimes B-like, and sometimes a fusion of both. But there are caveats. Lectins like panhemoglutinins agglutinate all the blood types, but you seem to tolerate them better. Your strengths are your design for modern conditions. Your immune system is highly tolerant. You combine the benefits of type A and type B. Your weaknesses are your digestive tract is sensitive. Your immune system has a tendency to be over tolerant, which will allow microbial invasion. You react negatively to A-like and B-like conditions. Your medical risks are heart disease, cancer, anemia. Your diet profile is, you can have mixed diet in moderation like meat, seafood, dairy, tofu, beans, legumes and grains. You can eat vegetables and fruits. Your weight loss key points are, you need to avoid red meat, kidney beans, lima beans, seeds, corn, buckwheat. What will help you with your weight loss goals is eating tofu, seafood, dairy, greens, kelp, and pineapple. Your supplements that you need to be taking are vitamin C, haton, echinacea, valerian, quercetin, and milk thistle. The exercise regime that you need to follow should be calming and centering, such as yoga, tai chi, combined with moderate physical, such as hiking, cycling, and tennis. The reasons why you gain weight are because of bacterial overgrowth that causes dysbiosis. You have cell signaling issues, stress, and lectin sensitivities. Foods that are a problem to your weight loss goals are because they create lectin sensitivity. They promote overgrowth of bacteria causing dysbiosis and because you have a stress immune imbalance. All the foods listed on this chart, it's best if you can eliminate them from your diet. Superfoods that help with your weight loss are because they block lectin sensitivity, build active tissue mass, improve cell signaling and balance your microbiome. And all the foods listed on this chart are very good to eat. Supplements advice will tune your immune system, will supply that cancer fighting antioxidants, will blunt your stress and strengthen your cardiovascular system. You should take additional supplements of vitamin C because of low level of stomach acid, because of which your type has higher rates of stomach cancer. High doses of vitamin C like 1000 milligrams cause stomach upset. What is recommended is during the course of a day, you can take two to four capsules of 250 milligrams of vitamin C derived from rose hips or acerola cherries. Zinc supplements. 5 milligrams per day is helpful in protecting type AB children against infection. However, before you take zinc, you need to consult your physician. Haton is a phytochemical and a powerful antioxidant. It is capable of preventing cardiovascular disease. A phytochemical named large arabinogalactin, it will balance your microbiome. It is also a soluble fiber and it is a safe, gentle, and effective immune modulator. Calming herbs like chamomile and valerian root are good relaxers. Lemon balm calms your digestive tract and it's found to improve mood and performance. Quercetin, a bioflavonoid and a powerful antioxidant, is found abundantly in vegetables, particularly yellow onions. You can also take supplements 100 to 500 milligrams have a tendency to suffer from digestive disorders, particularly of the liver and gallbladder. You should take milk thistle 
an effective antioxidant, especially if you're a cancer patient and are receiving chemotherapy. It will protect your liver from damage. If you suffer from bloating or other signs of poor absorption, take bromelain supplements. Exercise is recommended. Reduce the stress and deal with the fact that you have a bit of overactive cortisol. It helps you to stay calm and focused. Exercises like Tai Chi, Chinese boxing, Hatha Yoga and meditation. Follow the chart for the kind of exercises you need to be doing for the duration and frequency per week. It will help you to release tension and revive your energy. You need to do one or more of these exercises three or four times a week. The 10 day diet challenge is like a litmus test. It's like a pilot project in as little as 10 days. You'll find out the efficacy of this diet. You can expect some weight loss. Your stomach circumference will decrease. You'll experience less bloating after meals. Your joint pain will reduce. Your energy will increase. Your digestive distress will reduce and your elimination will improve. The first five days focuses on lectin detox and the second five days focuses on balance and restoration. For occasional aches, pains and irregularities, you should take natural alternate remedies which are available in different forms like teas, compresses, liquid tinctures, extracts, powders and capsules. If your symptom is chronic, you need to seek medical attention. To make your own herbal tea, boil water and steep the natural herbs for about 5 minutes. Main plan is to give you an idea of what your blood type diet should look like. Once you get used to it, you can plug in your own recipes of your choice if it is compatible. All the foods under highly beneficial list are good to eat. Turkey is not only highly beneficial meat and poultry, it also enhances carbohydrate metabolism and helps with weight loss and increases microbiome diversity, discourages microbial imbalance. The neutral list of foods neither do good nor do they have any ill effects on your system. You can eat them occasionally for variety's sake. You should eliminate avoid list of foods from your diet. In the avoid list of meats and poultry, there are foods that have more ill effect on your system than others. They are chicken, pork and bacon. They decrease your microbiome diversity and encourages microbial imbalance. In the highly beneficial list of seafood, there are foods with other benefits. They are cod, mackerel, atlantic and shad. They enhance carbohydrate metabolism and help with weight loss. And foods like cod, grouper, mackerel, atlantic, mahi-mahi, monkfish, pickerel, walleye, pike, pargies, red snapper, Salmon Atlantic Wild, Salmon Chinook, Salmon Sockeye, Sardines, Shad, Snail, Escargot, Sturgeon, Tuna, Bluefin. They increase microbiome diversity and discourage microbial imbalance. The neutral list of foods neither do good nor do they have any ill effects on your system. You can eat them occasionally for variety's sake. Avoid list of seafood, bass, striped eel and oyster decreases microbiome diversity and encourages microbial imbalance. Foods with other benefits under highly beneficial dairy and eggs are milk, goat. They enhance carbohydrate metabolism and help with weight loss and foods like cottage cheese, egg white, chicken, kefir, picorino cheese, Romanian arda and sour cream increases microbiome diversity and discourages microbial imbalance. In the neutral list, ghee, clarified butter, gouda cheese and Jalsburg cheese increases microbiome diversity and discourages microbial imbalance. In the avoid list, American cheese, camembert cheese, gorgonzola cheese, half and half, provolone cheese and roquefort cheese, they decrease your microbiome diversity and encourages microbial imbalance. In the highly beneficial list of oils and fats, olive oil and walnut oil enhance carbohydrate metabolism and help with weight loss and camelina oil, olive oil and walnut oil increase microbiome diversity and discourages microbial imbalance. The neutral list of foods neither do good nor do they have any ill effects on your system. You can eat them occasionally for variety's sake. In the avoid list, corn oil, safflower oil, sesame oil, sunflower oil. They decrease your microbiome diversity and discourages microbial imbalance. In the highly beneficial list of nuts and seeds, peanut and walnut enhance carbohydrate metabolism and help with weight loss. And 
chestnut Chinese, chestnut European, peanut, peanut butter, peanut flour and walnut increase your microbiome diversity and discourages microbial imbalance. In the neutral list, almond, almond butter, almond cheese, Brazil nut, butternut, karo, cashew, chia seed, flax seed, hemp seed, hickory, macadamia, pecan, pine nut, pignoli, and pistachio increases microbiome diversity and discourages microbial imbalance. You should eliminate avoid list of foods from your diet. In the highly beneficial beans and legumes, soya bean tofu enhances carbohydrate metabolism and helps with weight loss and natto pinto beans sprouted soya bean sprouted and soya bean tempeh they increase microbiome diversity and discourages microbial imbalance in the neutral list great northern beans soya bean pasta and tamarind beans they increase microbiome diversity and discourages microbial imbalance in the avoid list black-eyed peas broad beans fava butter beans garbanzo beans chickpeas kidney beans lima beans lima bean flour and moon beans sprouts they decrease microbiome diversity and encourages microbial imbalance in the highly beneficial list of grains and cereals soya bean flour enhances carbohydrate metabolism and helps with weight loss and malanga tanya and xanthosoma increases microbiome diversity and discourages microbial imbalance in the neutral list barley flaxseed bread containing allowable grains and quinoa increases microbiome diversity and discourages microbial imbalance in the avoid list artichoke flower pasta buckwheat kasa soba cornmeal harmony polenta and tapioca manioc cassava yaka they decrease microbiome diversity and encourages microbial imbalance and the highly beneficial vegetables foods with additional benefits are beet greens broccoli cauliflower celery collard greens cucumber eggplant mushrooms my take mustard greens and turnip greens they enhance carbohydrate metabolism and help with weight loss and foods like beet greens broccoli flower broccoli canistel celery collard greens cucumber eggplant grape leaves heart of palm kale mustard greens parsnip and turnip green increase microbiome diversity and discourage microbial imbalance in the neutral list foods like endive ginger horseradish dikama kohlrabi oyster plant salsify and sea vegetables like kelp kombu nori bladder rack they increase microbiome diversity and discourage microbial imbalance in the avoid list aloe vera artichoke avocado capers cassava corn popcorn fenugreek jerusalem artichoke mushrooms should take olive black decreases microbiome diversity and encourages microbial imbalance in the highly beneficial list of fruits cherry cranberry gooseberry loganberry and pineapple enhance carbohydrate metabolism and help with weight loss and fruits like cranberry fig grapefruit grape kiwi lemon may support a mommy apple and pineapple increase microbiome diversity and discourage microbial imbalance in the neutral list asian pear boysenberry breadfruit date durian elderberry kumquat and passion fruit they increase microbiome diversity and discourage microbial imbalance in the avoid list loquat orange persimmon and pomegranate decreases microbiome diversity and encourages microbial imbalance in the highly beneficial list of beverages teas and coffee green tea kukija bancha janmaicha enhances carbohydrate metabolism and helps with weight loss and cranberry juice green tea kukija bancha janmaicha lemon and water and pineapple juice increases microbiome diversity and discourages microbial imbalance in the neutral list almond milk and pear juice increases microbiome diversity and discourages microbial imbalance in the avoid list distilled liquor and orange juice decreases microbiome diversity and encourages microbial imbalance in the highly beneficial list of herbs and spices oregano and parsley increases microbiome diversity and discourages microbial imbalance in the neutral list ginger increases microbiome diversity and discourages microbial imbalance in the avoid list pepper black pepper red flakes decreases microbiome diversity and encourages microbial imbalance 
in the highly beneficial list of condiments, sweeteners and additives, miso enhances carbohydrate metabolism and helps with weight loss. In the neutral list, agave syrup, mustard, wheat-free, vinegar-free, yeast, bakers and brewers increases microbiome diversity and discourages microbial imbalance. In the avoid list, barley malt, carrageenan, cornstarch, dextrose, high fructose corn syrup, high maltose corn syrup, maltodextrin, ketchup, methyl cellulose, pickle relish, polysorbate 80, sodium carboxymethyl cellulose, trochocanth gum, vinegar, all types, and Worcestershire sauce decreases microbiome diversity and encourages microbial imbalance.